If you look at the logo of Life Team, the rose design is really the image of youths gathering around the altar prior to the priest saying the Eucharistic prayer. Father Bob hired me to be Life Team Youth Coordinator in November 1995, and on March 3, 1996, the first Life Team Mass kicked off here at Wall PH. The teens that gathered around the altar, there must have been over a hundred, was the most beautiful sight to see followed by an amazing life night of fun on the basketball court with loud pumping music and lights to introduce the core team. The hype, the camaraderie, the blessing, joy filled the air. Father Bob wore a big smile that night. God called forth the giftedness of so many dedicated young people to help build a solid program. I got a message from MySpace a long time ago from Anvi saying that she just wanted me to come by just so I could check out the program because she knew that I was um, in Life Teen as a teen. Uh, looking back at how the program was when I was a teen, uh, I can easily recall how uh, Life Teen Core helped provide such a strong desire for God and a positive, high energy atmosphere and an abundance of love. The more I grew older in the program, the, the more I wanted all the teams to feel what I was feeling. And I've been on for two years, so I just met, I missed the feeling you know, of serving and of being with the teams and stuff. And I, I thought about it, I prayed and I discerned them. If I really wanted to become a teacher and stuff, but, uh, I don't know, I, I couldn't find more satisfaction when it came to court. I started my sophomore year, and much until I graduated and it did make a really big difference in my life. I, I can say that it helped me to change the change person I was and not just change but change closer to God. Being a part of like team helped me with that faith and that personal relationship with God and even as an adult it helps me build that relationship and make it something more solid just to bring God into everything that I do. Since being a teen in the program since 1995, I realized the importance of the program and in appreciation for what it gave to me in my faith, I wanted to give back to God by um, doing the same thing, being one of those leaders, those young adults that inspire teens to want to know God more. takes a lot it takes a lot in our society to you know to make that step to grow, grow as a person to grow in your faith just with the love that they all have in their hearts and their passion to come to life night every single Sunday it's amazing to really see them grow every weekend and you know one day they could be the ones serving the next generation of teens I see um, us given the opportunity to help them overcome their crosses, their trials, their tribulations and come out better women and men of God. The most fulfilling thing in the world is knowing that we're helping them and that they're on their journey with Christ. Seeing them grow every day, just seeing their hearts get bigger and seeing Jesus fill their hearts. You know, we're not just leading them closer to Christ on Sundays, we're leading them closer to Christ every day. I see myself when I was young, now I see myself now being a minister. It's more of being in a role model and an example, and our role model is Jesus, and so as a core member, you know, we strive to be more like Jesus. And I'm not just saying yes because I'm ready, I'm saying yes because God's prepared. Our core team is so diverse. Um, one, we have a member from each graduating class from the year 2000 all the way up to 2008. Um, we have a representative from each graduating class, and with each class, there are different personalities. There's always just good laughs. It's always a good time. With all of our weaknesses as a team, we cancel each other our weaknesses with our strengths. It's a ministry that continues seven days a week 
24 hours a day because it's a lifestyle. We as ministers of this ministry, we find our own ways to get closer to Christ. And as we find our way closer to Christ, we don't only need ourselves, but we also need others. It's a, it's a community. It's a, it's a trip together that we all have to take. Not only on getting closer to Christ, but also on our journey together to heaven. What I'm trying to do best is be like Jesus and follow His way. To shine, you know, to make Jesus' love contagious and just to have everyone feed off of that. The most fulfilling feeling from serving in this ministry is knowing that all of the court, we make a difference. One of the best things about being core is the support that we have for each other. And um, when I look at the rest of the core, I could honestly see Christ in each and every one of them. I also see a friend, I see a brother, I see a sister, I see a man of God, and I see a woman of God. They are selfless, they are faithful, they are trusting, they are loving and caring people. For me, these are the people who I can run to when I have problems of my own. And if it wasn't for me being a core member, I wouldn't have realized how awesome our God is. The blessing He has given me for doing His will. And I wouldn't have realized how awesome the friends that He has given me and how much of a person I have become. God is perfect. And God made us to be just like Him. But even though that we don't see ourselves as perfect, in God's eyes, you are perfect to Him. Alright, so, peace. Love you guys. I'm out. Turn off! Turn off!